Yo, today's the day. First ever, first ever q and I'm so pumped. But first, first I have something to do. It was trash day yesterday. That was the glamorous life of an inspiring travel vlogger. I just have to bring in the trash. All right. First ever, first ever official Q and A of Elizabeth Travels. Waited long enough, huh? Thousand subscribers, but that's cause to celebrate. I don't know why I have that. Let's get started. First question I had on this, on the whole video I did was from Kenny Raiden, which was like a couple minutes after I posted. Are you ever going to visit Goa, India or Adaman Islands, India? And let me tell you, Kenny, honestly, India is the place I want to visit the most right now. If somebody told me like, I'm buying you a ticket to anywhere in the world, you can go for free, for sure I would pick India. I have other trips planned but because they're closer shorter trips for example i think in february we're gonna go to las vegas and i want to do india properly i want to do the same thing as we did for southeast asia have you seen all the videos of southeast asia we went for four months and i feel like we barely had the time to explore the area and that's the same thing i want to do for india if i go to india i'm gonna go for like four to six months and really like go in deep and really visit everywhere i can so that's the plan, maybe next year, maybe, maybe next winter, maybe, like it's, problem is a big trip like that requires a lot of planning. I need some money to be able to afford that. And it's also a lot of time to take off. Polo Raphael asks, which country, those you travel, would you like to live? That's such an easy answer for me. It's not even a country. It's a city. If I could live anywhere, I'd move to Berlin in a heartbeat. Seriously. When I was doing my exchange semester in Warsaw in Poland, I really loved it there. And we visited Berlin for like the second time and I just I just love that city so much. It's the artistic vibe, the the people there, just how it's always something going on. It's party the city really doesn't sleep. You can find a party at like 1 p.m. still going on on a Monday, still going on from the weekend. It's just, it's just this crazy city with this crazy energy with so much art and so much interesting people and things and foods. And Joshua Gould asks, What's your favorite holiday and why? I really like I really like Halloween. I love Halloween. Halloween's my favorite holiday. I've seen yeah, I even made like two Halloween party videos on my channel this year. I just love it so much because you get to dress up, you get to eat candy and just like hang out and like just make huge parties with your friends and stuff. I'm not such a big fan of like my birthday or Christmas because I'm not a person who enjoys presents very much honestly and how long was it like four years ago now I had a brain operation the day before Halloween a brain operation that like absolutely changed my life so there's also that it's like good memories this question is a little bit a little bit rude but how do you get money to travel do you work? Ah, that's a, that's a good question. That's a question I get asked a lot. It's also a complicated question because what is work? I don't have a job. That's, I can tell you that right away. I don't have a job. So let me just tell you how I afforded my Asian trip. I worked a lot. I had this goal of going to Southeast Asia and I worked my ass off. I got a job at the bank. I started my own company where I was like selling beard oil. 
And that's a whole different story of how we manage this company while well, from Asia sending shipments to like urban outfitters. That was a whole different headache. And I was renting out this apartment on Airbnb the whole summer. And I did that while I was in university. I mean, I finished my session, I had the weekend, I started the work at the bank, and then I had a weekend, and then I started up school again. And let me tell you how a regular day during that summer looked like. I was like, I would wake up at seven, get ready, go to work, on the lunch hour, I would go post my beard oil to different places off in, the, <laughs> off in Quebec and I would like answer emails and stuff. And then at five, when I left work, I would go to this apartment. I was still living at my parents' house and I would do the laundry and I would clean and I would welcome people in as the Airbnb. And then I'd go maybe see my friends for a couple hours come back home at like 11, go to sleep, wake up and do the same thing the next day and like this for a whole summer. I work like a crazy person just to afford that Southeast Asian trip. So yeah, I had this goal and I worked for it. As for right now, the thing is I want to travel. I want to travel like full time or at least I'd like to travel like six months out of the year. So to do that, I can't like have a regular nine to five job. So I'm trying to figure out a way to make money online, to like figure out some working opportunities there. Like it's a, it's, it's a bit long to talk about right now, but hopefully the goal is to set something up that I get like thousand dollars a month, which for me would be enough to travel full time and just vlog and travel full time. CDK asks, what's your favorite place you've traveled to and place you want to travel to in the future? One place that's really underrated that I really loved was Sarajevo in Bosnia. Seriously, it's such a cute little city with so much history and such heartbreaking history and the museums there and the streets are so cute. It's like the old town is like this old little Muslim village with the mosques and it's just I felt like I was in the East, I felt like I was in Morocco while I was still in Europe and it was so cool and we had this like abandoned bobsleigh track and seriously, I wasn't except expecting anything from that city, I was just going there because it was the capital and it just blew me away how amazing it was. Prisij99, sorry, I don't know how to say that, asks, what is your favorite place to visit or travel around in Canada? I've never actually visited much of Canada. I haven't been more west than Toronto I mean no I haven't been more west than like the Niagara Falls when I was a kid and not more east than Quebec City seriously I don't know Canada that well I've been to Montreal Quebec Toronto Ottawa like places around here and if all goes according to plan in the summer we want to do like a road trip and cross the entirety of Canada I really want to go to Banff, I really want to go to Vancouver. That's something that's in the works right now. I'm really trying to figure it out. I really want to do this. I want to do this huge road trip across Canada. So I'll tell you then what's my favorite place to visit in Canada. Jan Ban asks, where did you spend your vacations in the past and which destination you liked most? My parents met in Cuba, so when I was a kid and would go like on holidays, we'd often often go to Cuba. As a Canadian, we're really lucky to have no restrictions on that, so it was really easy. You book an all-inclusive trip, kind of like Americans do for Mex Mexico, and then take like day trips to the Havana, which was really cool. I miss it. I haven't been for like six years now, and I'd really like to go again. And um, yeah, thanks for my parents for taking me to such a cool place, like maybe once every two years when I was a kid. It was super fun. I loved it there. Discover with Dima asks, if you could invite six people, living or dead, to your dinner party, who would they be? Um, I don't know, honestly. At the point I am right now, if we're just thinking about the travel vlog, I'd actually like an opportunity to talk with other more successful travel vloggers, to ask them like, how they got there, what I could do to improve my channel, and just like 
meet those people because they all seem so cool. Like people like uh, like Fun for Louis, like like Raya, like Ben Brown, like Chris and Sarah from Hopscotch, Hopscotch the Globe, or uh, and like I mean if we're really going wild, like Casey Neistat, he's like one of my biggest inspirations. And also, you know, like Sarah Dietschy, she's like super cool. And like, I can't believe how her channel skyrocketed. Seriously, just meet all those people would be cool. And maybe one day, huh? maybe, maybe that dinner party is going to happen. I hope one day. We'll see. And speaking of channels and YouTube and whatever, Friend Films asks, I feel like I'm producing the best quality content that I can, but I'm struggling to gain subscribers. What are some things you think contribute to faster channel growth? Uh, well, friend films, make good videos, that's what I've been trying to do. And, and to tell, tell you the truth, hey, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not like this huge expert. I have a thousand subscribers, which is amazing, but it's not like a million. So I'm not the biggest expert on the matter. But I would say just keep doing videos that you enjoy. I notice that when I release new videos, I gain subscribers. On the weeks that I'm less active and I only release one video, I gain less subscribers. And interact with other people, other vloggers. Just go comment on their channels, talk to them like on Facebook, on Facebook chat. Just make friends, share their stuff. Maybe they're gonna share your stuff. And just keep, just keep going. If it's, if it's good, people are gonna notice. I guess. I hope. Honestly, friend films. I'd like some tips for faster channel growth because the goal right now with this channel is to get to like 10k subscribers but at this rate it's gonna take me about nine years to get there which is kind of slow so if there's a way to get there in two years I'd love to hear your tips Oof. I just realized I film like 20 minutes of video so i think i'm gonna maybe cut out some questions in the edit so if your question's not there i'll just like answer it in your comment i'm really sorry but i i can't make like 30 minute videos that's just that's just too much so okay.